Hiya! Game. <laughs> Hola a todos. <laughs> Finally, we're doing a lock update. So our one month lock update low-key turned into two months. It's about to be two months like the 16th for me, 13th for you, mm -hmm. something like that. So I thought might as well just mash the two up together since there's not that much <clears throat> left. I put together some questions that we're just gonna answer. And then I guess if anything else pops up, we'll just go from there very yoga teacher of me question number one how did we start our locks i started our locks simply with two strand twists while i was installing the starter locks i took my crochet needle and each section i looped it in itself once i finished i put this anti-itch oil that i got from like the beauty store do grow oil it was cheap and it had all the ingredients I needed. I needed tea tree oil, and I'm pretty sure it has like cohoba or anything else like that. You could totally use a different kind. So I would finish the like parting with some oil, and then that was basically it. Like there, it wasn't really nothing fancy. I knew I wanted to start our locks from home, and eventually once our locks mature a little bit more we can go see like a loctician once a year or something just to make sure our hair is kind of like on track but for the most part i knew i wanted this to be a pretty <clears throat> low, not low maintenance or low effort because there's definitely effort and maintenance that goes into it but i just wanted it to be as like ease filled and relaxing as possible i have had natural hair for a really long time for like seven years i've literally just gotten to the point where if it's not like a super low maintenance routine i ain't doing it and so that was definitely one reason that attracted me to locks but yeah we didn't use any product no gels no creams nothing it was literally we washed our hair it was stretched out bam we're doing the twists what is our hair routine nothing yes <laughs> on with the last point of being very low maintenance so i guess to like compare it to what our hair routine was like while we were loose natural we like wet our hair <laughs> we were like awesome. yeah like every couple of days and um that was mainly because i felt like our hair would get tangled up so quickly mm -hmm. and so it was like you know, our hair was going through it if we didn't moisturize it for more than, like, two days. I would feel how dry it was, which is such a, like, big change to how it is with locks now. Like, I don't really feel like it's very dry or anything. Every couple of days, we have our um, DIY lock tonic. Let me know if you guys want that video because, oh, my God, I love it. And it makes our hair smell so good, and it makes my scalp feel so good. Mm -hmm yeah <laughs> so we'll spray it's our scalp yeah yeah i really and i need that because my scalp is itchy and that was like i had dandruff way before we went locked but i definitely feel like i noticed it a lot more every couple of days we'll just spray it as like a mm. freshen up damn i hope y'all can see that because <laughs> fuck lantern <laughs> bugs <laughs> In terms of washing, we wash our hair like every two weeks or so. When we first started, what we did was we locked our hair and we didn't wash it for an entire month to mm -hmm. see how it felt. After that, that's when it's changed. We have our own shampoo that we use. Let me know if y'all want that because I really like the shampoo. It's very low cost. It makes my scalp feel great. Like some people will say like, don't wash your hair at all when you're locking. And that is not true. Actually, it'll make your hair lock faster. So we don't have any restrictions on ourselves as to like when we can wash our hair. It's really like whenever we feel like it. Not often. Yeah, very not often. I haven't washed. I, like, I said <clears throat> I was going to increase how much i wash my hair and it hasn't happened literally just because like we've been traveling or i've just been busy starting a business so shit happened normally i keep my hair either down like this or in a ponytail yeah, i did a bun the other day it was really nice you're ashy my ashy 
<laughs> sometimes I get fancy with the head wrap. Sometimes I make him wear a head wrap because I think he looks very cute. Look like you were like a part of Earth Gang. <laughs> my hair is usually down. Or up when it gets stuck to my, my eyelashes like this one is. Yeah. Or we've discovered a new look for him. Mm. Brings up the forehead. I know. <laughs> the forehead and a bad hairline no, I need that bad hairline. if I'm feeling like I want to dress up or I want my hair to like be max cuteness I'll wet it in the shower I'm not putting any products in it at all simply just let the water run and I just kind of massage my hair to loosen any dirt and it kind of like to me it feels like a like a wash and go <laughs> but with locks I really like the way the the starter locks look because they will the ones that are starting to like lock a little bit they'll look very beautiful but so will the ones that look more like a two strand twist if that makes sense like some of my lock some of my starter locks are starting the locking process a lot quicker at least in some areas but even then they just look nice and i guess like all the frizzies that i'll have kind of look more curly so for me it's like a really beautiful authentic goddess locks when i started my locks i kind of had this idea that i wanted to keep the ends curly i've seen some other women have locks like that and i thought it was absolutely gorgeous i also genuinely like the way my hair looks like the the stereotypical lock way and when i had loose natural hair i kind of mixed it up between whether i had goddess locks or regular locks i still loved both which is why i kind of been more like lax about whether or not my locks as they start to mature still have curly ends i also think it would be really cute if maybe some of them had curly ends but then others didn't like having that mix would make it feel more authentic and more me i was looking at mine yesterday like that one that's a really pretty one <laughs> some things i noticed in the first two months i play with my hair a lot this was something that i did a lot when i had loose natural hair too it's less intense when it's in the ponytail but still i have like the desire to look at it and it makes me want to mess around with it or if it looks a little bit loose i'll want to like try to tighten it more instead of just letting it go so that's why i kind of like to try to leave my hair in like a bonnet or a ponytail i stopped playing with my hair you stop long with your hair mm -hmm. i do look out for unraveling that's another thing i noticed a lot there was a lot of unraveling but i also started with really long natural hair or really long loose natural hair from what i've seen that seems to be pretty customary from when you start, start your lock journey with longer hair is unraveling and bunching which i've experienced a lot of and i'm kind of just trying to stay on top of that yeah fixing it when i can tugging it along when i can I have like whenever I see something that I perceive as an imperfection that's on my skin or my face I pick at it which is why I have a lot of hyperpigmentation I see my like parts of my hair like unraveling and I just like need to like twist it I felt that before when my when I wouldn't like comb my hair out you know when it would be like four days in and I'm just lazy and I'd be at work like playing with my hair and it'd be like naughty at the ends i would like like start to fix it and the other day i had like one of mine were like locked at the end and i started fucking away with, like like i would before and i was like oh, i shouldn't have done that i've definitely had some locks where like i keep fucking around with it and i made it worse than it was in the first place and and then on top of that it's dry which we shouldn't be messing with our hair anyway when it's dry but um it just worsens the blow so to speak i started off with like 60 some locks and as the couple of days went by i noticed that there was sections that i thought were really really small so i mixed them with others now i'm at a point where i'm pretty solid with the sectioning except for like there's two these two are like kind of small so i'm like thinking about whether or not i want to combine them but at the same time because they're separate i feel like it kind of gives me a little bit more thickness like i really like i really like how thick how thicky mm -hmm. how thick my ponytail is <laughs> so yeah i don't think i'll actually combine anymore um at least not right now so 
from the game aside from these two. Yeah, they're kind of small on their own. Mm-hmm. <laughs> little thing was sweating and build up. I feel like we're going to need to do an apple cider vinegar rinse. Uh, we work out a lot, so I noticed that I would sweat out, sweat a lot, and that also caused a lot of buildup. Because remember, we didn't wash our hair for the first month, which after the first month, we were like, yeah, no. It felt great washing our hair. Washing. Yeah, to begin with, like I said, most of my natural hair journey, I've dealt with dandruff. And that, you know, being locked doesn't really automatically change that. That's something that I have brought over into the first two months of being locked. As a result, I put in more healing oils into our lock tonic and in our shampoo too. But I've slowly just been diluting our shampoo to have less stripping stuff and more oils. After kind of readjusting, my scalp does feel better. And if I do have a particular day where I do feel like really itchy in some spot or whatever, I just uh, take the lock tonic and just spray that area and kind of rub it in. I do want to get Jamaican black castor oil because I've heard that that's really good for itchy scalp too. And also hair growth. Not that I'm trying to grow butt length locks, but your girl would appreciate it. I think there'd be a lot of, if my hair goes real long, there'd be a lot of pressure on the top of my head. Mm. And so I don't have anything else on there. That's true. <laughs> but yours, yours will be evenly pulling weight down and mine's going to be like top heavy. Something I noticed that some people in their lock journey don't like is the fact that for when you use the two strand twist method the pattern stays for a long time that's not something i i don't i don't hate that i actually really enjoy it i really liked passion twist before all of this so the fact that my hair just looks like it's always in passion twists doesn't really bother me at all i think it's very beautiful and um, i'm interested to see actually how it kind of changes over time as more of my hair becomes locked seeing that kind of like mix up between like lock and two strand twist and like still being able to kind of tell the, the the pattern underneath i don't see that as anything bad would you agree yes i like the two strand oh twist. yeah i always had it in two strand twist anyway why not? I also noticed that the back of my hair is locking a lot faster than other parts of my hair, which I guess makes sense because that's the part that sees the most amount of friction. Um, but in particular, like the first row, or the, uh, yeah, I guess the first row, like at the nape of my neck, my goodness, the top is locking so quickly and it feels so nice. It's like really fuzzy, but like soft and, but also like thick substantial <laughs> like i can't really i think this one's a good one which one i was gonna say mm. is this the one that's what you're talking about that one gorilla too moments. hashtag gorilla mom moments that sounds really racist, <laughs> but I just mean because we're always picking lint out of each other's hair. Oh god. <laughs> I saw somebody on Twitter that had that shirt. Coolest mo oh the fucking like the H and the band H and M shirt. <laughs> so like it feels really like thick. But then you can see like the bottom it's less of the pattern, but in the middle it's like a really strong two strand twist pattern. The one that I'm grabbing. Mm -hmm. A bunch of lint. Was that that is the one I told you about last night, and you were like, "There's no lint in there." I could no? not. I was like, "Yes, there is." <laughs> I could not. There was so it. much lint. I was like, oh. "That's why I said we need that apple cider vinegar rinse." This is us trying to stay on top of lint. I didn't think we would have an issue with lint, but I have three C four A, and around like the crown of my head is usually where um the loosest strands are towards the edges that's really where it gets a little bit more kinkier i don't know what i have you have like 4a his curls are a lot tighter than mine so it's your turn what were some big reflections you had the past two months well it's a lot fuzzier than i thought it would be i mean the camera doesn't look that bad but that looks kind of Kind of pretty fuzzy. 
Well, also, I think you, especially also you did your hair. That's true. I did go through a retwist, and he didn't. Um, I just didn't have the time. Who's got the time? <laughs> she also likes to look up recipes online and go, "Who's got the time?" <laughs> I did mine before we went down south. The plan was I was going to twist both of our hair. It ain't happen. It ain't pan out. I did my hair very last minute and then we never got he never got to do his hair. So He hasn't gone through a retwist and it's 2 months. It, about to be 2 months. So is there anything that like you learned about your hair? I'm surprised to see the curls are still there. You got the ends. Yeah. Because, like, on some of them, like, that curls are still, like, serious and on yours. But others are, like... Yeah, others are, like, a nice bunch. And then some of them are still, like, really good. Yeah. yeah. It gets in my face a lot more than I thought it did. Because I don't think... I, I've never had my hair like this. As long as I've ever had it was, like... Had it in twist was, like, two and a half weeks. Maybe. Yeah. Me too. I was I was kind of worried about keeping my locks in because generally speaking, when I did braids and twists mm -hmm. and stuff to my hair, I never kept it in for very long. Like I was never somebody who could. Mine just always came out. Yeah, I. I sleep yeah. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, I definitely got those too, especially when I was using like if I'm using synthetic hair to braid into my hair, like they just become loose. It feels like my hair grew a lot. Now we kind of can, can really see yeah, how much our hair like, is grown. I can grown. feel like my hair definitely grew. Yeah. Like and some places good, it's like... like inches, so. That's, like, this is where the knot is. Yeah. So you can really see. Mm hmm We did also go vegan a couple of months ago, so that might also be a key factor as to why our hair is growing so much. Like a soft vegan. Soft vegan. <laughs> soft alkaline. Flexible. <laughs> Casually vegan. <laughs> That's gonna be our channel name when we make the the vegan cookbook. Casually vegan. The changes we're making going on is instead of washing our hair once a month, it's gonna probably be more like two to three times a month. Really, just kind of depends. Also, like I said, do you want to get Jamaican black castor oil? I think the next change is the that I want to do is. The so, oh, you like the puss? <laughs> Should I redo that whole sentence? No, mm -mm. but you want to see game? Hey, yeah, we're not monetized yet, so <laughs> I need that that sauce on my scalp. Sauce. Mhm. Mm That's a great feel. I oh. couldn't tell that was a moth or a butterfly. Yeah. I really was trying to go for like a super nice, like really well sectioned, but honestly, the like first half of my hair, there was so many of what I call bridges, I think they're called. There was a lot of hair that was from one section that would be looped into another section and they would kind of form a bridge. I was only able to get really nice sectioning, like crisp lines towards the front of my hair, which is basically what I did. I was kind of like, I'm gonna low key cheat this retwist and I'm only gonna really do well this front half because it's what people are going to see. And then the rest of my hair, I just try to do it as well as I could. Hopefully when I do end up going to a loctician, they can do that really nice crisp lining for me. But until either he learns to do it or I pay someone to do it, or I magically find a way to be able to do it on my own, I'm just not really worried with how crisp the lines are for like the second half of my hair. I always knew that semi free form locks was kind of the style we were gonna go for because I did not want to do free form locks. But we didn't, we already weren't doing too much to our hair to be in. Yeah. It was just. And that's not to say we had a poor no, hair routine because our hair was still very luscious, moisturized, stuff like that. We used lots of oils, hair masks. Um, the closet. The club we were we were some serious product junkies like we've we've gotten rid of a lot of things which i think is super awesome so crisp sectioning yeah i'm not too worried about that semi free form locks was always the way for us because we didn't want to do free form and we do like the crisper look but and but me especially i was like i'm not against it being a little bit more like 
not even sections or whatever honestly i think where our hair is right now i'm really really in love with how my hair looks i like mine yeah and we both like each other's hair mm -hmm. a lot so i'm really honored to be the one to have started his locks i did some of yours too he did he did help me with some of that mine let me know if you guys want to know how we did the flaxseed gel because it was super awesome I, it held so well and even now i have such nice like yeah, lines i would love to see it because I, I wasn't there yeah he wasn't there when i made it, I used it. so yeah he hasn't used it i just so, bought it up for me to work still very crisp lines and the locks themselves are like really well wrapped like the i was i read that people said it had a really strong hold and i was like okay cool um but it wasn't until i like legitimately put on my hair and like my ends that were curly were a really really nice crisp curl i was like oh shit these are actually really really good so yeah let us know if you guys want um a diy video for that that being said, I think we are Gucci. Oh, it looks like you're trying to. Up stuff. Oh, am I yawning at the movie dude? All right. I think that concludes today's video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next lock update and any um, lock related videos. Peace. No peace sign? Oh. Okay. <laughs>